Number 78. Consider this scenario and answer the following questions. Chlorine atoms resulting from decomposition of chlorofluoromethanes, such as C, Cl2F2, catalyze the decomposition of ozone in the atmosphere. One simplified mechanism for this decomposition is this. Okay, so they said it was a mechanism. There's multiple steps. That's what a mechanism is. It's just a recipe. But now we have letter B, which is a completely different reaction. So they say nitric oxide is also involved in the decomposition of ozone by this mechanism. So we have a three-stepper, and that's a mechanism for this one. It's a recipe. It's just three steps. And the question is saying, is NO a catalyst for this decomposition? And then explain your answer. Okay. So if they're asking if a specific compound is a catalyst, chances are it's either going to be a catalyst or an intermediate. Now, let's just figure out what a catalyst is. Now, a catalyst always gets regenerated, which means that you will never, ever, ever lose any amount of catalyst because what a catalyst does is it, it gets used up first and then made. So you'll use it up and then you'll make it again. And you'll make it again and, sent, and then made. And you'll make it again so that you could use it again. But then it comes back. And then you use it again. And then it comes back again. And then you use it. And it's kind of like this constant endless loop. Now, how do you see this on a balanced equation? Well, if you're using something, that means that that has to be on the reactant side. So the first thing is that a catalyst would always be on the reactant side first, because that's how we show that it is being used. And then, over time, if you're making something, keep in mind that you always make products. So in another step, the catalyst should come back again, and it should come back again as a product, because that's how we show that it was made. So this whole little thing here is how we show what a catalyst looks like. It first has to be seen on the reactant side, and then it's seen on the products. For anybody who wants to know how to spot out an intermediate, it's the opposite. So an intermediate will be made first and then used up. Because once you use it up, you can't make it again. So now I just got to look here and see where the NO is. Now I see the two reactions that have NO, right? One on here and one on here. I can't take the NO2 because that's literally a different uh, compound. So I don't care about the first step because that doesn't matter. So I'm just going to focus on the second and the third step. The second step says O3 plus NO yields NO2 plus O2 And then step three says that NO2 plus O yields NO plus O2. Okay. So here's my, here's my NO and here's my NO. Let's see. Was it used or made first? It first comes up as a reactant. Reactant means that it was used first. So I'll put an R here. And then it came back. It came as a product. It was made. So if you're on the reactant side first, and then you're on the product side, uh -huh, reactant side first, product side, would this be a catalyst? The answer is yes. There you go. You got it right. NO is a catalyst. And then the reason is basically everything that we said down here. So I'm not going to really say it again. But it was used first and then made. It was regenerated. So that's all that you have to basically say for, you know, explain your answer. The explanation is this whole idea. Or you can say, you know, it was on the reactant side first and then it was on the products. Either way, it's the same. So that's a good box right there. It is a catalyst. And that is it. What would you think? Thank you so much for viewing the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to, um, you know, no pressure or anything, but you can become a member. We also, we open memberships as well, and there's a bunch of goodies in there. 
uh, to suit your needs, whichever uh, tier you want to be. There's silver, gold, platinum, and then uranium. <laughs> Did I scare you? I hope not. But anyway, um, thank you so, so much, and good luck on those tests and quizzes, and I will talk to you in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.